We're at the Venus Project to visit centenarian futurist Jacques Fresco and his partner Roxanne Meadows. We always say it's not architecture, it's the social design. It's a resource-based economy and it's the values that go along with it. And the Venus Project is a redesign of our culture to design a society with the intelligent use of science and technology to lift up the lives of everyone, not a selected few. It's wealth, property, and power within this system. Within a resource-based economy, it's the protection of the environment and the well-being of people. We are the first venue, I believe, to devote an exhibition to this subject. He knew he was onto something very big. We want to translate what all religions talk about into a working process of new cities, new architecture, new lifestyles, and new ways of thinking. Jacques Fresco has blessed us with his unwavering commitment to re-engineer a better future. We feel that machines ought to do the filthy or the boring jobs. That man has to be free to pursue the higher things, the higher possibilities of man. To surrender our concepts of individual uniqueness in exchange for constructive cooperation in human endeavor. This is the future. Whether you can see it or not, depends on whether there will be a future. That's why it's so important to show an alternative direction. As long as we have war and poverty and prisons, we're not civilized. We have the ability to do such wonderful things. All I know is that in order to achieve the brotherhood of humanity, we have to learn how to use the earth wisely and to do away with the artificial lines that separate nations. And it is only then that it would be the beginning of the civilized world.